Good morning. Welcome. I'm Barbara Ryan, the Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of Helios Education Foundation, and I want to welcome you here and thank you for joining us today. We decided to do a cluster evaluation of three of our early childhood education investments in Florida because they really have some common themes among them. And so it's a really good opportunity to work with three of our partners at the same time, not as a comparison, but really as learning from each. And so each of the parties can learn from each other as well. It'll be a three-year process working with them to understand the work that they're doing, how it's impacting early childhood practitioners, as well as how can they do uh, an improved job over time in providing professional development for their providers. In this training, we're doing something called training people to reliability. Now, with any instrument that measures the quality of early childhood, what children get for their positive development, what has to happen is that when you use the instrument, people have to use it correctly. One of the problems is with any kind of instrument, and this is true for the scales that we write, and the scales we write, if you do them correctly, higher scores relate to kids doing better across a very wide range of child development outcomes. They're better physically fit, they're smarter, they have better language development, they're more creative. Everything that's important for children comes to them from the environment in which they are growing up and learning. Well this is a training that uh, we were able to bring a national group um, from the Frank Porter Graham Institute into Tampa Bay and really provide a one-day training for, for a broad audience in, of early childhood educators and it really brings a tool to them that many of them have not had any experience with in terms of evaluation of their own programs and their own uh, preparedness. This training that we're doing right now is helping create an infrastructure in which you have people in place in Florida to make the scales be used correctly to ensure the success of the children in your state. It's very helpful that your foundation is providing funding for this because many states don't have the funding to do that kind of training because it does take quite a bit of time to get everybody on exactly the same page in how they read these words that appear to be so simple. And in reality, we need everybody to read the words in exactly the same way if you want to do the scale correctly and have the scores relate to how children turn out. Early childhood education is really the foundation of academic success. And so we feel that by working with early childhood providers, we really help them to help students be prepared to succeed in, in their educational experience from the earliest years.